New this morning, U.S. regulators have dealt a major blow to a Bay Area blood testing company. They've banned its CEO from running medical labs. KBIX 5's Maria Medina is live in Newark on why a federal investigation has Theranos in such a fix. Maria? Yeah, Michelle, as you said, this comes after a federal investigation. Well, now the feds are telling Elizabeth Holmes they don't care if she is the founder of Theranos. They're banning her from owning and operating a lab for two years, and they're yanking the operating license from its Newark lab behind me, and they're telling them they can't take Medicaid or Medicare payments. Now, if you remember, Holmes was a Stanford dropout at 19, but she became a billionaire when she founded Theranos, which promises its cheap and quick blood tests can tell you if you have any health ailments, including cancer, but the accuracy of those tests came under scrutiny, and that sparked an investigation by the federal government. It's uh, mostly advertisement at the moment, NPR, and, and very, very little evidence, very, very little science. It'd be one thing if Theranos was a company that was just trying to build their device and get it up to marketability, but they're not. They're a company that's already entered the testing field. They're already generating results. So while under investigation, Walgreens actually said, you know, Theranos, uh, we're not going to use your tests anymore. So a lot of financial hurdles for the company. As for any comments from Holmes, she has said she is trying to rebuild the Newark lab. Uh, these sanctions, by the way, don't take effect for another 60 days. But meanwhile, they do have a lab in Arizona, which is still providing services. Live in Newark, Marie Medina, KPIX 5.